morning good afternoon and good evening hope everyone is doing well let's start today's computer fundamental session and the today's session let's start the agenda and the agenda for today's session is Wintel and systems administrator so let us understand what is Wintel then we'll go with who is a systems administrator then we'll understand the roles and responsibilities of a typical systems administrator then we'll say understand the day-to-day -day tasks or activities of a systems administrator then we'll understand the skills required for a systems administrator if you want to be a systems administrator what skills you want you need then we'll definitely will go for the demand for the systems administrator in the business world so let us understand what is Wintel so the word Wintel is derived out of two words Windows and Intel so when servers PCs or laptop based on the Intel microprocessors runs a Microsoft Windows operating system we generally refer to such architecture as Wintel that is Windows and Intel now let's understand who is a systems administrator so uh, people who work in such environments by supporting users and resolving their issues are called as Wintel engineers or systems administrators or even say Windows administrators in other words so they are also known as Windows administrators or Windows systems administrators uh, say who are responsible for installing managing and upgrading Windows based systems and servers within a company and they are also responsible for managing data security configuring user access and maintaining the stability of the Windows systems so this is a, a brief of who a systems administrator is all about so let us understand the roles and uh, responsibilities of a Windows administrator or a, a systems administrator so a typical system administrator installs configures and say manages and administers server hardware say he also say configures manages troubleshoot windows operating system networks applications databases virtualization cloud and storage etc so there are say lot of tasks or lot of roles and responsibilities related to a systems administrator so what are the day-to-day -day tasks or day-to-day -day activities a typical day in a systems administrators say job so assessing the stability security and scalability of installed Windows systems this is one of the tasks of a systems administrator another task might be say discuss system and server upgrades with IT managers install or upgrade Windows systems and servers provide technical support for staff and say backend system users that is the business users so troubleshoot systems and server errors review system logs and user reported errors monitoring is again one of the say basic tasks of a, a systems administrator Monit monitoring and updating windows say code base managing user access one of the say day-to-day uh, -day work of a system administrator is he manages the users permissions and user access he, he also he or she also monitors the system performance and maintains say, server architecture security and create system backup so these are some of the day-to-day -day tasks of a systems administrator these are not all the tasks these are say some of the tasks 
let's move ahead so let us understand the skills required for a systems administrator let's say technical skills and non-technical skills so let's understand the technical skills so knowledge of active directory is a must so every systems administrator must have a good understanding of say active directory how it is structured the objects in active directory so on and so forth he must also have uh, knowledge of say client server operating system so windows server windows client operating system and how they are talking with each other knowledge of group policy it's not a must but if it if you have good understanding of group policy it will be an added advantage knowledge of say basic understanding of networking as well say some protocols like dns dhcp ftp vpn or dfs rdp etc so you must have say basic understanding of some networking concepts as well any virtualization technology again it's a must for a systems administrator it can be vmware vsphere hyper v citrix or any other virtualization technology say so, knowledge of uh, any monitoring tool again it's not a must but it's good to have so you must know uh, at least say fundamentals of how monitoring works and any monitoring tool such as system center operations manager star say solar winds nigos etc uh, again deployment again uh, it's again not a must but again patch management is a must using any tool say sscm landdesk solar winds or even wsas again because patch management or patching the windows infrastructure is a day to day task of a windows administrator and last but not the least in today's world you must know powershell okay and at least the basics of powershell scripting means you must be able to download scripts from the internet and tweak the scripts as per your requirement so these are the some say technical know how of a systems administrator now now let us understand some of the non technical skills you must have it is not mandatory that you must have all the non technical skills but again it's good to have them the first skill is enthusiasm so this skill is not only required for a systems administrator it is required for anyone working in any industry learning skills so he should be a, he or she should be a self learner man there should not be any uh, say there should be very less hand holding capacity to work under pressure man this is again one of the non technical skills which you must have good interpersonal skills troubleshooting skills adaptability so you must be able to adapt in whatever situation okay or environment you are put into for example some people are say not adaptable working from home okay but again and some people are not ready to work from office after the covid situation so this is not a good sign okay so you must be adaptable organizational skills collaboration very very important you must be able to collaborate with your co-workers from your team as well as from other teams time management skills to prioritize tasks and activities you must be able to prioritize the tasks and activities okay so which task to take up first and which ta task to take up later and last but not the least you must accept positive or negative feedback man because feedback is feedback you have to accept it so let's understand the demand for systems administrator systems administrators okay are backbones of any it infrastructure now systems administrators demand has grown by say 8% man since 2022 and it's growing like anything 
systems administrator have better future than developers until and unless you are a die hard coder okay so systems administrators have better future than say developers so you have multiple scope to explore yourself your career you can completely focus on virtualization or identity and access management or say cloud computing or say data center technologies so a systems administrator overall a systems administrator is a person who is responsible for the upkeep configuration and reliable operations of computer systems and this role will only die if there are no systems to manage thank you very much